Mexican? Um, okay. Yeah, uh, well, we're looking forward to playing in the Rose Bowl. Uh, we're here at Disneyland looking to have a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys, you watch us on January 1st. What do you feel about this game? Um, it's, a, it's a great game, a tradition. It's the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, just a chance to win this game, represent the Big Ten. Um, you can't think of anything better. Do you want to say something about after the game, before the game, for the Hope, hopefully you guys tune in and you guys are Buckeye fans. And if you are not, then you watch our game and hopefully we perform it well and you become a Buckeye fan. Thank you, Thank you so much. That's a good picture, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> What do I ask you about? Have you been to California? No, first time. So do you get, when you look around at the other guys who haven't been to California, mm -hmm. is there like a unique look in their eye for the last day or so? Like, Yeah. Well, definitely. I mean, you see all the TV shows, the reality shows that happen in L.A. You see all the, the glamour and the celebrities and things like that. So we first get here looking for like, OK, where is there? You know what I mean? So, um, you know, there's that first almost kind of like starstruck. But at the same time, you can't appreciate how big it is. I mean, we're just downtown L.A. That's where we're staying. But um, just the, all the sights and sound that come with it is it's, it's a unique place. First practice was today. What did you yeah. notice? The first practice in a couple of days. Yeah. Christmas. Yeah. What was that like? Yeah. Uh, we were a little rusty. Um, that's kind of to be expected coming off the break that we came off of. But um, I think it was very beneficial for us to practice right away. Um, you know, shake that rust off. And we, were, we weren't in pads today. Tomorrow we're going to be in pads, regular game week. And uh, we're going to hit the pedal to the metal and have a really good day tomorrow. Terry, I asked uh, Appreciate you. Urban about this. We know this is basically his senior day. Mm -hmm. You've been through it now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of the, the roles are reversed. You guys mm -hmm. get to give him some tips. Yeah. Have you talked to him about how to manage some of the emotions when you know it's the last time? Uh, <laughs> we really just want to make sure he enjoys it, but uh, we know how he operates. The only way he enjoys it is if we win, and that's how we all feel. So um, he hasn't really got too caught up in all the emotions into it. I think he did a really good job of just getting that out in the forefront before everything went down. So um, he's looking forward to watching us play, and, and we're looking forward to possibly getting a win for his last game. I know we asked you guys before you play you know, in the game for what your senior day is like. Mm -hmm. How did you wind up managing that? Yeah. You know, what was it like for you? Or did you think you did a good job yeah. making sure that you were ready? There's a lot of emotions that go into that game. Um, you know, The nice thing that we had, we had senior tackle, so you really got to tell all the coaches, the support staff, your family, your friends, how much they meant to you. And so you kind of really got all that emotional part out of it. And then running out the tunnel for the last time was obviously emotional. But um, just we were just so focused on what was at stake in that game. Um, you couldn't really let your, your emotions overcome us. And I felt like we did a good job compartmentalizing that. And that's going to really come into the same, the same uh, it's going to be the same premise coming into this game, too. What's he? What's he been like the last couple weeks? Thank you. I, I'm going to assume that he was the same Urban Meyer. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's been really cool. I mean, he just seems like he has like a piece about him. You know, Coach Meyer is a really ener energetic coach, and he's been energetic throughout this whole process. But, um, you know, you're kind of coming to the end, and you're uh, at peace with your decision. Um, you know, you just have a calm about you, and I, I feel like I see that, but that fire isn't gone. He uh, has always stressed the number one importance of coming out here is um, to win the game. So. Yeah. Are there, for you personally, we saw the picture of you three receivers yesterday getting mm -hmm. on the plane and the, the caption they gave you guys. I mean, mm -hmm. Is it the, sort of the same emotions as, yeah. as November? Or what's it like for you three to go to know that it's the end for you as well? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a lot more realistic. It doesn't really feel like that because we're in the moment. Um, I was telling somebody earlier, probably when the clock hits zero and hopefully we got the trophy and the roses in our mouths and the emotions will probably come over us. But the nice thing about it is we all have the chance to, um, we're really close and we won't lose contact, but the, ch the last chance to play as Buckeyes together, finish what we started and, um, you know, we changed, we changed our group. And uh, I feel like we're leaving a legacy, so there's not going to be any sadness. But, um, you know, it's crazy that it's going to be the last time. It's really crazy. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it.